So what am I doing? I'm doing this one. OK. So if we want to convert this, guys, what we have talked about, what we explained is, if the only thing we know, or at least what, not the only thing we know, but the one thing we've talked about is converting from polar rectangle, but at least we're comfortable going from r theta equals is the same thing as r cosine of theta in terms of rectangular form, then wherever I see if, what are we doing? Yeah, OK. If I'm giving you a rectangular equation, sorry. If I'm giving you a rectangular equation in terms of x and y's, and I want to rewrite this in polar, well then, wherever I see an x and a y, if I can rewrite this in terms of r cosine theta, r sine theta, I can put it in terms of polar coordinates. Because polar is basically r and thetas, not x's and y's. So here's an x. I can rewrite that as r cosine of theta minus 2 r sine of theta equals 3. Okay. Now, technically, that's in polar forms. Done. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Right? But since you guys are taking a multiple choice question, they're probably going to write a polar equation solved for r, meaning that we're going to have to make sure we can solve for r. So, oops, I'm sorry. That's, yeah, OK. So I can't combine these, but I can factor out an r. So when I factor out an r, I'm left with cosine of theta minus 2 sine of theta equals 3. And notice my r is being multiplied by this whole quantity. So therefore, I'm going to have to divide that quantity on both sides. To save myself a little work, I'm just going to write that as 3 divided by um, r cosine of theta minus 2 sine of theta equals 3. Oops, what am I doing? There you go. Okay. And that would probably be what your answer choice would more likely than not look like. Okay. Now, does anybody know what that looks like as far as a graph? What if I gave you